evening, friends. This is your host to welcome you through the creaking door into the inner sanctum. Friends, just as you do, we're dressing up our little hovel for the coming winter season. Of course, the color scheme will still be completely black with uh, blood-red splotches here and there to relieve the grimness. <laughs> and I'm putting in a new hearth made out of an old tombstone. It has a little inscription that reads, Here lies Lizzie Liddow, a proud and self-made widow, who bright and early one fine day sliced her husband's head away. She'd caught the culprit with a wench and won acquittal from the bench. <laughs> Tonight's Inner Sanctum Mystery, Night is My Shroud, was written by Milton Lewis and stars Kenneth Lynch in the role of Danny with Ann Shepard as Baby. All right, friend. Sit back and collapse. I mean, relax. Our story is about to begin. I just try to remember that none of the things you hear in our stories can happen to you more than once. Ready now. Then turn the lights down low as we hear Danny Manton tell us a strange story. I expected any second I was going to hear a knock on the door. I knew if I opened it, Chigger would come in and kill Baby and kill me. And Chigger wouldn't kill fast. He'd take his time. You know how Chigger is. So we stayed in that crummy hotel for five days, afraid to go out because maybe somebody would see us and tell Chigger. Yeah, five days. No sleep. Too scared to eat. Nothing except the rotten coffee they sent up. Just me and baby. I can't take it anymore, Danny. What's the matter? What do you think's the matter? I'm getting out of here. Sit down. I don't care what happens no more. Even if Chigger kills me. I'm beginning to hear things in my head. I'm seeing things that ain't there. Shut up. No. It ain't right for a wife to walk out, I know, but I... Oh, Danny. You're soft. I always knew you were soft. Mush. But you ain't walking out on me. How long do you think we can stay here? I'm staying until I get a call that the coast is clear. That's what you've been telling me, but you don't get that call. Maybe you'll never get it. Stop crying. I can't stop. Shut up. I think I hear somebody outside our door. Chico. Shh. You hear that? Yeah. Somebody walking up and down. Danny. Skip it. It's your own footsteps you hear. Huh? Don't you see what's happening? You're jumping out of your skin when you hear your own shoes make a noise. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. Danny, Look. Look. Let's get out of here. You said when we welched that 500 from Chigger here that we'd go away and we'd work out some dance routines. Let's grab a train, Danny. We'll take our chances with Chigger. We'll go to South America, Mexico, any place. We'll work up a few numbers. Vaudeville's coming back all over again. They're even booking acts in the palace again. We'll make dough, Danny. We'll, we'll pay back Chigger and, and be in the clear. What do you say? There's something queer about them footsteps. A footstep. Danny, didn't you hear what I said? Stop talking. You crazy. What are you banging on the wall for? You hear that? Yeah. Somebody knocked back. Where did it come from? The next room, I think. Well, why are they... Shh. Let me try something else. Let me try a dance step. You think they'll hear? Quiet. Danny! That can't be Chigger. He could never do that. Maybe it's a killer Chigger sent. Why should he tell me he's next door? I'm going to do a step that nobody else in the business can do except me. Let's see what happens. Do that if you can. Oh, what does it mean, Danny? Someone's calling me. 
Someone wants to see me. Someone in the next room. I ain't sure. But a magician in Denver once told me that when you hear something like this happen, you sh- I'm going in there. No, Danny, Back don't. Me. Danny! There was no one in the hall. I tried the door of the room on the right of mine. It was open. I went in. At first, I didn't see anything. It was black. Only the dim light coming up from the street. My eyes got used to it. Then I saw him. Standing in front of the window, he looked like me. Only he looked like I always thought I'd look when I'd be dead. That's the way the magician in Denver said it would be. A guy to spit an image of you. I was scared stiff. I... I yelled... What do you want? What do you want? I know who you are. Who you are? You ain't alive. You ain't alive. If I gotta live, just give me a break. Give me a break. Come here. Come here. I'll grab, I'll grab you. you. I reached for him, but he stepped backwards right through the window and disappeared. I looked down to the street. Nothing there but some broken glass. I knew I wouldn't see anything. From what that magician in Denver told me, it could only mean two things. Either my number was up, or my luck had changed. Danny! Okay, baby, pack your clothes. We're getting out of here. Uh, Danny! What's the matter? What are you looking at me like that for? I ain't scared of Chigger now. No, Danny. What? Chigger! Chigger, where is he? He's in the closet. That's what I tried to tell you. He came in while you was in that other room. Shut up and don't move, Danny. <laughs> you look just like a statue. Except for the sweat dripping over your eyes. That's how I like to see you, Danny. Still. Very still. Chigger. That gun. Ain't you gonna say hello to me, Danny? Hello, Chigger. Chigger, you can't do it. You ain't gonna do it. Not to Danny. No, baby. Get away from him. No. Do what he says. No, but Danny. Please. No. Knock her down. Get her away. Go on. Baby. No, Danny. I want to stay with you. That's better. Uh, how'd you find out I was here? The manager. He's a friend of mine. He told me five days ago. Where's the five C's you took from me? Oh. Here. Yeah, thank you. Ah, now you got the money. Why not call everything square, huh? After all, you got back your dough. It ain't the money, Danny. You work for me. You know about me. And I know about you. I know I can't trust you. Never again. I, I, I'll never tell what I know. Nah, you won't tell. What... What are you going to do? Have some fun? They uh, tell me you was a dancer once. Dance for me, Danny. No, I... I... Now, listen, don't stall it, Chigger. Let me have it right away. Dance. Go ahead. Uh, Sure. There you have He's pretty good, baby. You love him? Yeah. That's fine. So, for your sake, I'll do you a favor. I'll polish him off fast, right now, while he's dancing. <laughs> that one missed. But these won't. Danny. He missed. He can't hit you. It's empty. That one should have got you. They won't get me, Chigger. Something's happened to me. You can't kill me. Oh, I done it with my hands before. Oh. Chigger. Oh, that pain. Chigger. I just... Danny. He just grabbed his chest. Killed over. He's dead. No. He may be... He's just... dead. Go ahead and say, he's dead. Yeah. He's dead. But how? 
How? How do you think, baby? I don't know. He was alive a minute ago, and then... Danny, the room next door, what happened in that room? You were talking crazy when you came out. Maybe it wasn't so crazy as you thought. What'd you see in there? What happened? You wouldn't understand it. But I want to know one thing. Did you tell Jigger I was here? What are you saying? You heard me? No, how could I tell him he was with me all the time? Danny, let go of me. You could have called him up. Danny, what's the matter with you? He wanted to let you live while he was going to kill me. You could have made a deal with him. How can you say that? Danny, get out of your head. You don't trust anybody. No, I don't trust dames anymore. Did you call him? That's what I want to know. No, 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 I didn't. I'll find out if you're lying. You better be telling the truth. You saw what happened to Chigger. The same thing could happen to you. You can die just like that if I want you to. You know that's true now, don't you? Yeah. It's true. I, I, I've seen it. I'm going out. I want you to meet me later at our apartment. Where, where, where are you going, Danny? Where do you think... There's an old score I've got to settle, baby. I think you know who it is. Danny, no. No, you mustn't. Baby's face was scared like a kid's when I walked out. She's seen what I could do. You don't believe it, mister? I didn't believe it myself until I saw it happen. Chigger died because at that minute I wished he was dead. That magician in Denver told me it could happen like that, and it did. Baby knew where I was going. She knew who I wanted to see. I told her because I wanted to find out just how much I could trust Baby. I had life and death in my hands. Anybody's life or death. I could kill just by thinking about it. Yes, mister, I've still got that power. I can kill you right this second if I want to. It was the queerest thing walking through the streets that night. I seen men, women pass me by. They didn't know it, but just like that I could have killed them. They didn't know how close they were to dying... They didn't know that the guy they passed on the street had more power than any man on earth. But I was going to use my power on someone who deserved it. On Queenie. Oh, hello, baby. Queenie, are you alone? Yeah, come in. Lock the door. Why? Lock it, please. I don't want him to come here. If he finds us together, he'll kill me. He'll kill us both. Who? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Danny. He's coming here to murder you. Oh, now listen. Lock the door. All right. Look, baby, when you called up, you said you had something important to see me about. Now, yeah. if you've gone out of your head, I just want to remind you I'm not running any lunatic asylum. Don't you worry. I'm not crazy. Maybe I'm a little wacky for trying to help you. But I just couldn't see even you get killed without having a chance to save yourself. Are you really afraid Danny's going to kill me? I know he is. That's a laugh. You wouldn't think it's so funny if you seen how he murdered Chigger. Danny? Yeah? And he did it without a gun? Without a knife? Without his hands? He did it with just his mind. What are you trying to tell me? I'm telling you to get out of here as fast as you can, to get away where Danny will never find you. What kind of a gag is this? Queenie, I'm risking my life by coming here and telling you this. Something queer, something supernatural happened with Danny tonight, and he's got this power. Listen, you better go see a Don't head doctor. Don't try to explain to her, baby. She won't believe you. Danny. It isn't old Mr. Big himself. How'd you get in here, Danny? Over the roof and onto your terrace. Did, did you hear? Yeah, I heard everything you told her, baby. Danny. Seems that I can't trust you with a secret, can I? I... I, I didn't want her to die. I didn't want her to die the way Chigger did. You're a sweet kid, baby, but you're an awful dope. Don't get sore, Danny. But I am sore. I told you what would happen to any dame that would double-cross me. Don't kill me. You must... He, he can't kill you. Oh, Queenie. 
Would you like to see how it's done? Yes, I'd like to see how it's done. I'll call your bluff. Sure. Watch. Danny. No use pleading, baby. I know what you are now. Danny, honest, you don't understand. I just warned her because I love you. I, I, I didn't want you to get in... The trouble. And you tipped off Chigger because you didn't want me to get in trouble, too. You told him where to find me because you loved me. Uh, I, I didn't tell him where you were, honest. Danny, I... Good a liar I, as you were, Queenie. But maybe I'm wise to her because I didn't love her as much as I loved you. I thought you were going to kill her. I'm still waiting. You won't have to wait long. Oh, Danny. Stay back. No Danny, use, baby. Look out, don't. Baby, you're backing out to the tower. Danny, don't come any closer. I won't tell anyone ever. It's too late. Baby, come back Daddy. here. Daddy, let me live. You've Daddy. always been soft. I... Mush. Come back. I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Still think I'm bluffing, Queenie? She fell off of the terrace. Quite an act. How'd you do it? Would you like to find out? Gonna pull the same act on me? That's what I came here for. Then why are you waiting? Maybe because it's the first time I've seen you in years. How do you think I look? Beautiful. You're still the most beautiful woman I ever knew. Maybe you ought to think of that before you... Before I murder you? I've always loved you, Danny. Are you kidding? Give me a chance to prove it. A chance? You gave baby a chance. You didn't do anything to her. You were sure she double-crossed you. Why don't you give me the same chance? Maybe if you found out how much I love you, you, you wouldn't want to kill me. You might want to take me in your arms again. Give me a chance. Why not? Have you got your car downstairs? Yeah. Now let's get out of here. Why? When they find baby, they'll be coming up to ask questions. <laughs> Why don't you say something, Danny? You haven't said a word since we left. I've been thinking things over. What thing? All the things that happened between you and me. Why'd you stop? Because this is a good place to stop. Nice, quiet street, no houses. On a block like this, you could scream and scream, and no one would hear you. Danny. Giving you your chance, Queenie? Uh, I know what you mean. I. You're wondering why I left you, why I broke up the act. Yes, Queenie. You never did tell me why. Well, I know you thought that agent was in love with me, but I, I left you in Denver and went to New York because he really did have this job for me. I made a hit in that show. That's how I got my start. I did it for you. For me? You know what was happening to Porterville. You know what was happening to our act. Broadway was the only place we could make a living. You couldn't go on starving. Just as soon as I got the job, I tried to send for you. Did you? Sure, but I, I could never find you. I tried, but you disappeared. You didn't try hard enough. All our friends knew where I was. And I tried to get in touch with you. You wouldn't even answer my letters. You're the only one I love, Danny. I don't care if you kill me. I'm just happy to be close to you. Just to be near you again. Oh, to put my arms around you. Be able to kiss you again. I love you, Danny. Too late, Queenie. Too late? Yes. You're going to die. When will it happen? Any second. Can you stop it? No. Well, I... I'm waiting. Why don't it happen? I don't feel anything. No pains, nothing. It will happen. What? Yes. Just a minute. I want you to die. And you will die. Well, seems I'm very much alive. I, I, I don't know. What happened? I do. You're out of your head. That's what's the matter with you. You never did have much of a brain anyway. 
With no actions, you ended up as one of Chigger's boys. You couldn't even dance any good. Wait a minute. I only hooked up with you because I was starving and I never did love you, not for two cents. I couldn't stand the sight of you. There's a cab coming down the street. Now I'm getting out of here. If you ever bother me again, I'll have you sent to the movie hatch. She stepped out of the car and walked into the gutter. At that minute, I thought maybe she was right. Maybe I was imagining things. Maybe I didn't have this power. I saw her lift her hand to hail the cab, and then... The cab kept going. I got out, looked at her just to make sure. She was dead all right. My power didn't fail. So then I checked in at this hotel... And sent for you. Why'd you pick on me, Danny? Because you're a reporter. What's that got to do with it? Sometimes I think this never happened. Sometimes I think I dreamed up the whole thing. I want you to check up on it for me. I couldn't ask the police to do it. I get it. Uh, now, who's this guy you heard in the next room, the one who gave you this so-called power? Uh, the magician in Denver said this is what they call a doppelganger. It, it's a kind of devil that has evil powers. Well, uh, couldn't you have just seen yourself reflected in that window? No, no. What I'm telling you is true. Here's the names and addresses so you can check it. If it wasn't true, do you think I'd be here like this? Don't you see what's happening to me? I'm so scared I can hardly breathe. Don't you see that any second I might do something everybody does in their life? I might wish I was dead and that... What I'm telling you is absolutely true. Okay, okay, Danny. Maybe it is. You don't have to bang on the table. Did you hear that? Yeah. Listen. What? Will he reply? He's in the next room. He wants me. I've got to go. No, no, wait a moment, Danny. Goodbye. I waited there for a moment after Danny left. I heard nothing. And then... I ran to the room next door. Danny was dead. There wasn't a mark on him. I checked Danny's story from beginning to end. Baby was in the morgue. Listed as jumped or fell from Queenie's penthouse. Queenie was found by the cops in the street where Danny left her. We found Chigger in the hotel room. Dead. The immediate cause of his death was marked unknown. The same with Danny. Maybe he was half-cracked. Maybe his talking about it suggested it to my mind, but uh, I'll never forget the sound of that rapping coming from that empty room. Of course, Danny wasn't really mad. Such things happen to anyone who's a little off the beam. And who isn't? <laughs> By the way, if you ever try to strike up a conversation with a lovely ghost, don't get sore if she gives you an empty stare. She can't help giving you the ghoul shoulder. <laughs> Which brings us to the moral of tonight's story. Never drop dead when your friends tell you to. That's how friendships break up. <laughs> over CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System, and has been rebroadcast for service men and women overseas. This is the United States Armed Forces Radio Service, the voice of information and education.